You're watching Adorama TV. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, we're going to be talking about some Nikon macro products. We have tons to talk about. So let's start by talking about this lens. This is the uh, Nikkor 105mm f2.8 G lens for macro photography. It's just under $900 and it is a spectacular lens. I shot with this guy on the D90, on the D3S, the D3X, and some other Nikon cameras. And across the board, I got stellar results. The nice thing is this has vibration reduction, so I was actually able to shoot handheld in a lot of instances and even get away with shutter speeds as slow as a 15th of a second. Now, I know that's pushing the limits. Um, I don't recommend that, but I was able to do that with this lens, which is pretty spectacular. Now, these images were, were tack sharp. The color looked amazing. The only thing that I would say that I would change about this lens, I really wouldn't change it except for the label. So this says this is a 2.8 lens. It is a 2.8 lens, but it actually is a 2.8 to 4.8 lens based on your focusing distance. So to get a 2.8 aperture out of this guy, you have to be focusing at something at 10 feet or farther away. Anything closer than that, you're going to be pushing up to the 3, 5, uh, 4, 8 range on your aperture, which isn't a big deal because with the macro lens, you're probably going to want to be shooting somewhere around f11 or something for your depth of field. Uh, but just to note, it doesn't really clarify that this is a variable aperture lens and so uh, 2.8 all the way up to f22 but it varies based on your focusing distance i highly recommend this lens i took it uh, took pictures indoors and outdoors and close up and far away across the board i didn't get a single image um, that i was disappointed with unless it was something that i was doing wrong like composition or just being an idiot so this lens i love it i highly recommend it i think it's my favorite macro lens for the nikon well, in addition to the Nikon lenses, really what you need for successful macro photography, you need a nice tripod, but you also need some nice flash gear. Now, Nikon has a kit, and this is the Nikon R1C1 Wireless Close-Up Speedlight System. It's a big mouthful, but it all comes in this box here. It's just over $700, and I can't believe all the stuff that's inside here. So let's start by showing you a couple things. When you open up the case, you'll see you have this big um, diffusion panel right here. I'll show you how this works here in a second, so I'm just going to lay this to the side. And then the other thing you have is you have these little clampy things. And again, I'll show you what these do in a second. So I'm going to set those to the side and open up this uh, case here. And inside, there is just a ton of equipment and so it will allow you to use your flashes in different configurations on different lenses and uh, all kinds of things. So let me walk you through what's in here. So the stars of the show is actually you have a couple of little wireless speed lights and these are the uh, SBR200 speed lights. So two of those come in this system and then you have a uh, control unit and this guy goes right on your camera. So this is all wireless control. Now you can take these, they have a standard quarter 20 thread on them, you have um, some mounting brackets, but you can put these off camera and do all kinds of things with them. But normally you're gonna want, these, uh, mount, want to mount these to the end of your lens. And so let me show you what this guy has. So to do that, what you need uh, in a lot of instances are some step down rings. And so this one actually fits this lens very nicely. And so I'll just screw that on there. And that's really cool. And then the other thing that this has inside of it is this big ring here. And I'll pop this out. And what the ring does, it allows you to mount this to your camera. So I'll just stick this on here like this. And now I've got this ring mounted to my camera and it all looks good. Now the thing that's really cool about this is um, now these guys, they have this little um, switch on the bottom here. They just mount right on there, they snap on. So I'll snap this other guy on here. So it snaps on. And now I've got these two flashes on the end of my lens. And the neat thing is I can move these around and they'll lock into place. And then I can move them at different angles. Um, and then if I want, I can always take one of these guys off and mount it off camera. And because it's totally wireless, you have a lot of options of how this works. Now earlier I talked about this diffusion panel. So let me talk to you how this works. This little guy here, this clamp, actually clamps right onto this ring. And then I can put this diffusion panel on here and I can use it to diffuse perhaps one of these flashes. So I'll just zip this around here. And you know, if I had some more time, I could do this a little bit better. But you get the idea. I can put this so it diffuses one of these lights. Or if I just had natural sunlight, I can actually 
maybe put this over a flower or something and diffuse that light hitting my subject. Um, I can even clamp this on a branch or something. So I've got this nice diffusion and I have this clamp to uh, hold that. And I could probably use this to hold branches and other things that are in my uh, shot. So a lot of options just with those two things. Now let's talk about some of the other things. Earlier I talked about this step down ring. Well, they have uh, six of these guys in here. So there's six different step down rings. Depending on the size of lens you have, you're gonna need to use a different size step down ring so that this ring will fit exactly on your lens. So a lot of options there. For mounting your uh, little speed lights, you have these stands. So this will mount into that stand, and there's two of those. And so if you want to mount these on a table or something, and again, you can control those wirelessly. You have those stands. Those are in there. You have two of these packets here, and these packets are for um, putting some gels on the light. And so to make that really easy, there are two of these clear plastic covers. Now let me show you how this works really quickly. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to take out a green um, piece of green gel here. And this green gel is for correcting for fluorescent light, and it fits exactly inside this uh, clear plastic cover. So we've got that nice gel right there, and then that fits right over this. And so what you have here, if I put it on the correct way, there we go, is you have a nice gel that is over your flash, and you can do those with both. And that's why you have two of these little guys, so you have one for each side, and so then you can add red or blue, or you can do some... Uh, warming or cooling gels so that you can really control the color temperature and that's really nice So you've got this whole system in there, but there's even more stuff in there if you want to have some softer light There are two of these guys and what they are um, they actually slide right onto the flash and so you get some nice um, Cooling out of this guy and I think oh right so it actually goes on to this and then it snaps on so I did this out of order I'm sorry about that. So I'll snap that on and then this snaps on. So you can actually put your gel and your diffusion right on there um, and that will stick right on there. So you have nice soft light and you can have nice colored light as well. So all of this works together. You can again see that I have my green gel inside this diffusion. So all of this stuff works together to, to create a whole system. So this gives you more of that really nice soft light you would get more out of a, a macro ring light. And so you get the benefits of both soft light and hard light and you can control the color temperature of your light. There's even more stuff in here. So there's one more little uh, doohickey in here that I really like. And this guy is for uh, using your camera as a commander. So if I'm using this as a commander and I don't want my pop-up flash to interfere with my shot, I can actually throw that down. And now my flash is going to be blocked by that. And so I have the ability to use my camera as a commander but I can also make sure that my flash is not going to interfere with my macro shot, which is really, really nice. So this is a very, very robust system. You have uh, external speed lights. You have control wirelessly. Um, this, by the way, I didn't really talk about it, uh, but this is the SU-600. That's the commander unit. Um, I'm sorry, the SU-800. It's a commander unit, and this allows you to do ratio control, so you can change the ratios between these. You can do exposure compensation. You can uh, control external speed lights as well. So if you want to add more speed lights to this and control those in zones, you can with this. So all the control that you're used to with your SB-900, you have right here uh, with this guy, the SU-800. And so you can control not only these guys, but you can control remote flashes uh, that are more traditional as well from this guy which is really nice. And then if you really want to, for some reason, I don't know why you would, you can actually cable all of this stuff and get rid of the wireless. Um, it doesn't come with cables. I'm not sure why you would want to do that, but it's an option for you as well. So it's a complete system for macro photography. So if you're a macro enthusiast or professional photographer, you're doing some uh, commercial work, this is a great option for you. If you're just an uh, enthusiast, this also works. So it, it uh, deals with the entire um, spread of uh, abilities. So I highly recommend it. Again, the, um, the macro lighting system is about $730. The lens, about 890 bucks. Together, they provide you with a very, very nice system for shooting macro photography. Well, thanks for joining us this week. Remember, if you have questions about photography, you can send those to me at askmark at adorama.com, and you can see our past 
reviews of products at the Adorama Learning Center. I hope you go check it out. Thanks for joining us. I'll see you again next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.